My name is Hector Sanchez. I am a producer at NetherRealm Studios, and I'm here with the design team to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make your experience with Mortal Kombat Vita way cool. You don't need to shake the PlayStation Vita aggressively to detonate bombs or to unflip the world in some missions. All you need is a simple flick of the wrist. If you do too much, you may throw your game off completely. Here's another tip. A number of the missions in the bonus challenge tower actually use the touchscreen in order for you to complete the mission successfully. But what a lot of people don't know is that the touchscreen actually supports multi-touch gestures. So if you're having an issue going with one finger, try use two. One great thing we did with the Vito was we took a great feature from Mortal Kombat, which is fatalities, yes, yeah. and we added them to the touchscreen feature on the Vita. So a motion before where it was forward, back, forward, front punch, now it actually doesn't use the button input anymore, so it's just forward, back, forward swipes on the touchscreen. Even adding the swipe feature to do fatalities, we still left the original way to do fatalities with the D-pad and the button input. One of the coolest additions of this version of Mortal Kombat is the ability to actually fire off x-rays using the touchscreen. So pay attention to your super meter, and when you see it flashing, give it a little tap, and you'll be able to unleash one of these super devastating moves. Some missions have a trick to beating them, like Mission 146, You've Gotta Be Kidding Me, where it's Striker vs. 5 Shao Kahn's. If you hit the pause menu and look at the hint screen, it'll say, look at Shao Kahn's helmet, but like there's a crack in it. So when you go back into the game, if you actually tap the screen, it'll put Shao Kahn into a dizzy pose where you'll get an extra free hit to make the mission a lot easier. Another tip for the missions where you play as characters that weren't in the original Mortal Kombat, such as Kintaro or Shao Kahn or a zombie, hit the pause menu and check the moves list. There might be something cool in there that you didn't think to try. If you're having trouble with a mission, you can always use some coins to bypass it. But don't forget, if you bypass it, you may be skipping an unlockable outfit. So you've made it to the end of the bonus challenge tower and Endgame 2 is looking at you right in the face. You're going to want to use all of the tips and tricks that you've learned throughout the challenge tower to beat this super challenging mission. So always remember fans, there is no knowledge that is not power.